Hello, it's me TFR Wilderness and uh, welcome again to my channel and uh, obviously we're still within the uh, first week of uh, 2019 but uh, I've decided to do a follow-up to my TF18 to 2018 video and that is my top 12 worst bots that I got in 2018. Well, you know, because last year as part of my end of month bot haul I did that first and worst thing whereby I would pick out of all the bots I got in any given month, I'd pick my most favourite bot and my least favourite bot and at the end of the video I'd hold them up so here's the first, here's the worst and I'd give my reasons why I liked or disliked whatever bot. In the, doing this process I ended up with a list of 12 best and 12 worst bots. Now you've already seen that the best bots that I've done in my TF18 and 2018 and I thought well as I had 12 best bots already it was only a simple matter of going through looking at all the other things I bought and picking six more bots to make up make it up to the 18 though I think next year I'm not going to bother doing the TF19 or 2019 because let's face it it's getting a bit a bit ridiculous and silly now every year it's like another number is added and it's it gets harder and harder to get you know, an increasing number of bots together to, to, to make up the, the full list so I think next year I'm going to stick to the format of either a top 10 or a top 12 because I'll be doing the first and worst and I will have you know hopefully at the end of uh, this year in December I will have a list of 12 uh, you know best bots and 12 worst bots uh, and with that being said I'm going to do my top 12 worst bots of 2018 now when I say worst bots let's just let me alter the lighting a little bit there we go uh, when I say worst bots, these aren't bots that I necessarily hated. They're just, you know, bots that, you know, disappointed me throughout the course of the year. And and some bots that just, that, that failed to meet up to my like minimum anticipation, expectation of, of what a bot or what the bot should have been. And with that being said, let's get on with this video because obviously I've got 12 bots to show you. I mean, you've, you've seen them all on my uh, end of month bot haul videos. So, you, you know, if you've been watching those, you've got a good idea of what's coming. And I also have a, a couple of dishonorable mentions, which I'll be doing at the end. So, and, and, and the main reason why I've been doing this, I've noticed that some other YouTubers have been doing these, what I refer to as segregated top videos, where they've been doing like the their top official Transformers and then doing... Um, their, their favourite, you know, uh, KOs or favourite third parties. And then some people have been doing the, the top 10 bots and the worst 10 bots. So I've decided to just add to that a little bit by doing my top 12 worst bots. So let, let's get on with it, shall we? Right. So obviously these are all done in a, a monthly order. So in January, um, the first bot that, you know, failed to meet up to my expectations... Is this guy? This is uh, last night. All Spark Tech Nemesis Prime. Now, yes, it's it's a crap bot. I mean, these gimmick toys that came out as part of the uh, the last night toy line. These All Spark Tech bots. Very simple transformers. You know, they've hardly got any articulation. Very simple transformations, and they all have that gimmick where they come with a little the, the All Spark cube, which has lights and sounds. And then you flip open the chest. Yeah, walk it in. It makes lights and sounds, right? And then you shut it up, and then you move it, and it's supposed to do noises. Well, as you can hear, it's making lots of noises. But. Now the reason I went for this is because I wanted to try this gimmick out because it looked really good. But these toys were like 35 quid when they first came out and they certainly worth, weren't worth paying the money that uh, they went for to begin with. But later on, they, they towards the end of the... Uh, well, it, it, they came out in the back end of uh, 2015 and then last year um, they were shelf warmers. So I went to do an entertainer and there was, there was loads of them there and they'd reduced the price to just, to, to just over 11 quid. So I decided to get one. Unfortunately, um, the gimmick doesn't work properly on mine. It's supposed to do voice clips, and as you can hear, all it does is just make noises. It just makes random noises. When you move it, it just makes noises, and it's it's a pain in the ass. It doesn't do the voice clips, and I, I don't know why. Sometimes it, it makes some voice clips. I've noticed when you do it into truck mode, and you bring it around on the, on the floor, sometimes it goes, Optimus Prime. But it, it should have more than that. I mean, these cubes are supposed to be semi-intelligent. They're supposed to have, 
you know voice clips for various characters and you put them in different different character molds and they come out with different voice clips but this is defective it does not do the voice clips and i was really disappointed by that fact and the toy like i said there's, there's not much to it. it it ain't got much in the art in the way of articulation very simple transformation it's got some nice paint and molded detail but that's about it and um i went for nemesis prime because i didn't want the optimus prime version i should have gone for the squeaks because the squeaks doesn't transform and you know it's you know for buying a toy just for the gimmick i mean that would have been better or go for the 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 megatron version which actually turns into the into the ship and obviously i've got all the other megatron ship formers so that could have gone with that but yeah very disappointed with it the gimmick didn't work that's the whole reason i bought it so yeah that's the reason why my worst spot for january was this piece of crap <laughs> so that's the uh, that's the first one right so in february now in uh, February, um, on this worst list, you can see quite a few KTRT bots. And I like to buy my, my Korean transforming robot toys, or KTRTs as I refer to them in uh, acronym form. Um, um, now, before I go any further, I just want to explain something. I mean, now, the Korean toy market of these robot toys that are based on cartoon series, in my opinion, it, it, for the back end 2017 and early 2018, it, it went through it went through like, 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 a, like, a, like a slump for the first first half of the year. And the main reason was that a number of the shows that these toy lines are associated to, they finished in uh, you know in the back end of tail end of 2017 and these are mostly the ones for Young Toys, which is you know the, the probably the biggest toy manufacturer in Korea. You've got Young Toys and Sonocom, which are the two big ones. But uh, Young Toys, who was responsible you know, back in 2017 for Toba Athlon and uh, Geo Mecha, Beast Guardian and Captain Dino, those two shows came to an end and, and there was a, a, a lack of new figures coming out. And... I like to collect my KTRTs, and what I did instead was I went back and looked at figures that I previously overlooked or hadn't bought for one reason or other and started picking them up. And when I started buying these figures in, it came apparent why I didn't pick them up in the first place. And the first one that I got back in um, February, Hello Carbot's Pwn or Pawn or whatever you want to call him. Um, now, he's one of these free Carbot characters that was introduced for season two. Um, I think their name is the, the Sam Chang Za or something like that, or or the Free Musketeers, or uh, they're named after chess pieces. You know, you got you got Rook, who was the blue police car, and then you had Knight, who was a red, you know, sort of, you know, sort of Lamborghini, I suppose, and then you had this guy and Pawn or Pwn. You know, again, he's one of those characters where his name was open to interpretation depending on how it was pronounced. It, it, it sort of sounded or spelt slightly differently. So you get that with a few Korean figures. Um, he's, he's a good looking figure, um, but he's built around this one step transformation gimmick. So this is basically a one step changer, the size of a leader class bot. And as you can see, it's got nothing on the legs. And the, the arms have just got elbow joints and that's it has got a ball jointed head but very restricted articulation um and then they're all built around this um transformation gimmick so i just uh, transform it very quickly And there you go, and he's in car mode, and then you go, go like this. And then he transforms. And, yeah, obviously you've got to flip out the little, little feet ums as well. So there's that, and these guys were like season two. These were introduced in season two, and they did three of them. And then later on they did some other similar sort of one-step changer bots. I mean, they, they did... Um, uh, another one that I reviewed on my channel, which is um, Beat Run. It looks really cool, but again, it's just mauled by the one-step change of gimmick. They've got no articulation on the legs, which is really disappointing. And then you've you got uh, Auto Sonic for Season 5, or was it Season 6 he appeared? And then finally, we've got um, Converse Stir. Now, I'm tempted to get Converse Stir because his alt mode is to die for. He's got a gorgeous, like, like a drop-top Lamborghini alt mode. Absolutely amazing. But again, one step, change a gimmick, and 
it, it ruins the toy. Um, I wanted to get Knight, which was another one of these these guys, but unfortunately he's, he's very rare and very expensive, and I'm not prepared to pay the money he goes for, quite simply because he's just a glorified one-step changer. So, yeah, nice de robot design, nice colours, great moulded detail, but just where's the leg articulation? And that's why this guy uh, really disappointed me back in... Uh, February so yeah that was a uh, hello carbots pawn or pwn then uh, March again another hello carbots figure hello carbots dragonix um, again this is all to do with the hello carbots line going in my opinion downhill and uh, simplifying their toys to a, a lower you know sort of age group um, it's built around a uh, Automorph spring-loaded automorph gimmick. You've got you got the the little little purple car And then you've got the uh, the yellow car Right so you've got those two and then the whole gimmick is built around An automorph gimmick and it's a nice looking toy but every joint is spring-loaded on it um, there's no articulation to speak of um, it, it, it's a nice little fiddle toy but it, it's a one it's you know it's a one-trick pony it only does one thing I like dragon forms that's why I went for this version there were there was two other uh, similar like bots you know you know automorph you know spring-loaded automorph bots that they did they did Meta Falcon, which is a, a, a yellow and red sort of like bird bot. And then they did um, Evan Prime, which was a, a character that crossed over from uh, Turning Metcard, because Evan is one of the main characters in uh, Turning Metcard. He crossed over into Carbots and he became one of these um, automorph, you know, you know spring loaded uh, you know, crash combiner type thing, you know, similar to like those crash combiner, you know, bots from um, you know, Robots in Disguise um, Combiner Force. Very similar to that. Yeah, um, I actually bought this in February, but it because of the the seller was really slow in getting it shipped out to me. I didn't actually get it till March, but uh, and it was the only car bot I actually well, it was the only KTRT bot I actually got in March because towards the beginning of the year I I wasn't sure whether I wanted to continue buying them as I did, but uh, you no know, things picked up later on, and uh, yeah, so got that. Then moving on to April, and again. Um, another KTRT, this time Turning Metcard Junior Phoenix. Now, I had the original version of this, the, the original HG version, which is a really good toy, but um, I uh, gave that figure away at TF Nation to uh, Hot Rodney Prime. Still waiting, Gary. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, so uh, I, I, uh, I, I got hold of uh, this because I wanted a version of this mould. I was hoping they was going to repaint it in the, the black and gold um, Turning Met card W, which is like the Season 2 colours, uh, but they didn't. So I went and bought the big HG black and gold version, then bought the little red one, and then my original HG Phoenix was surplus to my requirements and why I gifted it to Gary as a return gift for a KTRT that he bought me last year. Well, the year before, rather. Um, yeah, compared to the, the, the HG mould, this thing is, is such a scrawny crow. Um, very thin, very scrawny. I mean, the whole top of the car becomes this this massive, great elongated tail. I wish they could have folded them in or something. They could have put a few more joints in this to make it sort of fold up a little better. It's got a decent wingspan, but it, it it's very underwhelming compared to the HG version. And I've got some of the other junior figures, which are like scaled down versions of the bigger bots, and they're really great little figures. Just this one. Just didn't quite measure up. It was one of those bots that didn't, you know, meet my minimum, um, you know, anticipation level. And it's okay. It, it's it's a thing, but it, it it's very underwhelming, disappointing, and that's why it was the worst thing that I got back in April. So uh, moving on to to May. Now in May, um, it was a bit of a toss up between. This figure I'm about to show you and an honourable mention. So the figure I've decided to show you is this. This is um, 
a Bandai uh, Mighty Mini Morphing Car Figures, or whatever they're called, Cho Soko Henki Gyro Zeta um, Arcadia Anubia. Um, it's a, 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 a cartoon show called a Cho Soko Henki Gyro Zeta. Uh, I've got the DVD box set, and uh, occasionally I, I watch these anime series. You know, before I go to work, I watch a couple of episodes. And it was it was that time of the year when I, I decided I wanted to watch that series again, and I got it out, started watching it, and it made me want to get a figure from the toy line. Now they did these little mini figures, but they also did some bigger like deluxe or Voyager style figures. But unfortunately, they're horrendous uh, shell formers and parts formers. They don't transform properly like Transformers do. You know, you have all this kibble that you pull off, and then there's a robot underneath, and then you have to reconfigure it to form armor pieces that uh, sit on the on the robot mode and. They're not very good, and they've got a lot, a lot of kibble, and they're 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 really not not that great. Um, they're also very rare and expensive, and you know you see the prices they go for, and they're they're just just not worth paying the money that they go for. Um, but this this thing thing was re relatively cheap. I think I did I get it off eBay or Amazon. I can't remember. Um, so it's one of my favourite characters or favourite you know, mechs from the show, which is Anubia, um, which is like you know based on the um, Egyptian. Anubis sort of uh, character, really cool looking bot. Um, unfortunately, yeah, it's got a, a butt ton of kibble. Very simple transformation. And uh, yeah, so it makes this little white car. Very simple transformation, but you know, the engineering on it is passable. A lot of kibble and it's a very sort of simple simplistic toy it's okay but again it, it just didn't quite measure up to, to what I expected or what I wanted and I decided to make this my worst bot that I bought in in May um, but obviously when you see the honorable mention you know you'll see the reason why um, so that was that uh, June Right, Power of the Primes. Yes, we uh, obviously last year we had the uh, the short-lived Power of the Primes, the uh, final part of the um, the Prime trilogy, and there were some stinkers in the line. Let's face it, there were some bots that were like, really really bad, and yeah, the uh, the Dino bots. And, and I've singled out this guy as probably my least favorite or worst bot of the line. This is uh, Power of the Primes Deluxe Class Sludge. Now. It was good that they did the Dinobots, and but they're too bloody small, and they didn't deserve the combiner gimmick. I mean, Dinobots don't combine. I mean, yes, we've had a few Dino combiners in the past. We've had that Power Core combiner's um, Grimstone. We've had that. Uh, we've had the two like the Toy World uh, Dino combiner. We've had the uh, was it the um, not Generation Toy. What was the other one? Um, G Creation Dino combiner. Was it Shuriking? We've had that, and Hasbro decided to come out with this. I mean, yeah, there was one appearance of a Dino Combiner in in the fiction, and that's again has been a, supposedly a really bad comic. Um, but I've got this, he's so underwhelming. I mean, not only has he got like you know super floppy joints. Um, when you're trying to transforming bits pop off all the time, like these rear wings keep uh, keep popping off. Um, it's just so disappointing, uh, and he's small as well. In Dino mode, he's supposed to be—he's no, Sludge is supposed to be one of the bigger Dinobots. This guy should have been a Voyager. He should have been the core bot for the Combiner, not Grimlock. But <sighs> anyway, so yeah, he's—he's he's not great. He's not fantastic, and he's my least favorite out of you know the the Power of the Primes Dinobots. Um, I have actually got the the my Chrome marker out and. Uh, chromed up a few pieces on them to make them look a little bit more presentable um but yeah no <laughs> no 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 uh very very disappointed it's a shame really because you know we've been crying out for you know a, 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 like a generations reissue of the dinobots and and we get these things and when you think about the 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 design and engineering that went into some of the titans return molds and then we get this it's like <laughs> come on you can do better than that you know you can so yeah, um, that's the uh, by far the worst thing I picked up in June. Power of the Primes Deluxe Class Sludge. 
Right, July. KTRTs again. Um, Tobot Original X. Now this is a smaller, like a almost like a. You could say a deluxe version of a uh, a Tobot figure because you know the the big guy is their uh, normal Tobots are this sort of size. So it shows you how small this guy is. Now, I have got the uh, original Y, which is based on the uh, the original mold, and this is based on the original because X has gone through. Uh, quite a few evolutions over the, the the episodes. I mean, he's had like three different forms, each variant on the um, the uh, the uh, the Kia Soul people carrier type uh, vehicle. And this was based on the original Kia Soul. And then you had that that concept Soul that he transformed in for his uh, evolution mode, and then later on he got his adventure mode where he is like the the, the you know the uh, the facelifted uh, Soul when he had all the the, the the belt pack and uh, he he's quite a really decent toy but this is based on the original mold I don't have the full size original mold I mean I wanted to get a version of it so I decided to get this small one again very very disappointing my my biggest fault with it is the fact that it looks like it's got working elbows but it doesn't the elbows are fixed and I've taken one of the elbows apart and had a look inside and I reckon you know, with a little bit of modification you could give him working elbows and I'm tempted to do a mod on this to give him working elbows. I mean he's got you know, he's got a waist joint, he's got ratcheted hips but his, his knees don't go you know, to 90 degrees and restricted articulation as normal, the, the, the build quality on it, the, the, the design function, I mean it's, it's so so underwhelming again it's just it just did not meet up to what i expect of my minimum expectations of what a, a, a korean bot should be and it, it was very very disappointing and so that was the in my opinion that was the worst thing that i picked up in july right now august um August again. Now August, and I started buying into the uh, Mini Force X line to get that that big uh, that big Mini Force combiner, and three out of the four Mini Force figures turned out to be stinkers. <laughs> so the first one I got in August, Mini Force X Lucy Bot. Um, yeah, very light, very rattly, um, limited articulation. Um, comes apart as, as easy as anything obviously part of the combiner gimmick uh, very disappointed now um, mini force toys used to be made by sonocon who do um, turning met card and, and hello car bots and I thought they was making these but they weren't um, they've gone for a completely different manufacturer to make these and it shows the the build quality on these compared to the average you know you know, KTR, well, the, the average, you know, Sonocon bot is totally lackluster. It's the, the, It really suffers from, you know, very poor design and engineering uh, cues. Yes, they had to engineer the uh, combiner gimmick into this. So, again, as with so many other bots, you know, sometimes putting a combiner gimmick in mauls the, uh, the other modes. Her car mode is all right. You know, you could argue, and you could argue she she's like a KTRT standing for RC because of her colours and, and her car mode. But um, as a robot, as a standalone robot, she's not very good. And she th th these guys are quite expensive for what they are. Uh, I mean, I was paying like 60-odd quid for these when they first came out. They've come down in price a little bit. But considering these are the, like the first, well, as far as I'm aware, they're the first serious, you know, you know combat, you know, transforming robot toys from the company that made them they're, they're they're just they're just not up to par they're just not up to snuff and i was <laughs> very very disappointed with them and this was the first one i got and it was a portent of what was to come so yeah so that was um august mini force x lucy bot then the next one um in uh september uh the uh, Mini Force X bot wasn't terrible, <laughs> believe it or not, and uh, it was something else that I got. Um, that, to be honest, I don't hate this thing. It's just that everything else I got in that month was so much better, or I liked it so much more than this thing. And, and this is a character that I care nothing about, and you know something I had to go. 
Titan Master Night Beat. So yeah, this is the Titan Master Night Beat. Um, I was after um, uh, an extra shuffler to send us a gift to Graham the Collector 75 because I know he'd been hunting for it and been unsuccessful in getting hold of one. And I found a guy on eBay who was selling the Wave 4 Titan Masters, all four of them. Um, and it included two figures that I wanted. I wanted to get hold of the Repugnus um you know, Titan Master, and I wanted to get hold of an extra Shuffler. So the uh, Repugnus and, Sh and Shuffler were in there, but it came with two extra bots. It came with Skytread, which is, again, you know, it's based on uh, G1 Flywheel. So, you know, yeah, I, I, I can go for that one. But then it came with this guy. Um, I think this was a reissue, because I think Nightbeat came out in an earlier wave. So they reissued it for some bizarre reason. Um, it's an okay little toy. Um, I mean, the head sculpt is... Okay, I suppose looks like night beat, but it's just not a thing for me. Uh, it turns into like a plane, and then a and then a, then, a, then a drill tank. It's it's just again, it just just doesn't float my boat because night beat is one of those characters that doesn't really do anything for me. Even though I have read him in the um, in the uh, you know, more than meets the eye and uh, Lost Light issues of uh, the IDW comics. Um, he has made an appearance in that. Uh, the toy, the, the uh, Titan Master toy, very uh, underwhelming and it just just didn't do anything for me. I didn't really ask to have this guy in my collection. It just came as part of this four pack. And uh, yeah, so I wouldn't have gone for this otherwise. I wouldn't have bought it separately. That's that much is for certain. So yeah. He uh, he ha just so happened to be on that particular month the uh, the least favourite thing that I got. Hence, he's the worst bot that I got in uh, September. So I don't dislike, you know, don't hate him otherwise. And yeah, you know, I suppose some people think this is a really good toy, and it probably is. But it was just that it was the situation that it was. This guy came out or came to me at that time, and he just didn't measure up. As far as I was concerned, and that's why he he got to bottom of the pile. So yeah, September Titan Master Nightbeat. Uh, and then October, we're back onto the Mini Force X figures, Mini Force Max Bot. Oh dear, <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This thing is bloody awful. Uh, this is, in my opinion, probably. Possibly the worst transforming toy I have bought this year. Honestly, I really dis detest this thing. Um, it, it turns into a really ugly drill tank. Um, and he forms the legs of the combiner. That's his sole purpose, is to be a pair of trousers for the combiner. Um, this is his robot mode. He's got these spinny drills on his hands. But if, if you look at the, how thick his hips are, you can't put his arms down because they uh, they clout you can sort of bring them out on these sort of linkages I suppose so you can do that it's it's so badly designed I mean he hasn't got any working knees well he has got knees that move you have to press this little button in and then they fall back but they're just on a, on, a, on a free hinge that locks into place in the, the straight down mode. Now they could have put a stiff ratchet on this so he would have had working knees in this mode and working knees in the combiner mode as well. But no, they didn't think to do that. Um, and and these, these drills, if these drills could have been removable and had fists underneath, that would have been fine. But no, he's got fixed drills for hands. And... The proportions of I him. Mean, look how far back his head is, and it's just so many things just went together with this. And, and, and take to that the design and the build quality of this figure, and it's just just it's just garbage. It's just crap. And like I said, the only reason I bought him was to to be become the legs for the combiner. That was the only reason I bought him. And if it wasn't for that, I would not have touched this thing with a barge pole. So yeah, October Mini Force X Max Bot. <laughs> Then we get in November and the final member of the uh, the Mini Force X team 
We've got Voltbot or Boltbot, uh, another character that's got a little bit of ambiguity on his name. Um, his robot mode looks nice, his car looks nice, and, you know, he's got double elbows, and you'd think, you know, this guy was going to be alright, and, and then you get down to the legs. Alright, hips go that far forward, that far back, and he's got no knees at all. Fail. That is an instant fail as far as I'm concerned. They didn't make any effort to give him, you know, working articulation on the legs. They could have made this um, hip joint a little shorter so you could have moved his hips backwards and forwards properly. They could have engineered, I mean, these legs are supposed to do that for the uh, combiner gimmick. But they could have still put some sort of a working hinge mechanism in his, in his knees. And they didn't. And, you know, this toy should have the bare minimum of working joints, and it doesn't. And that just lets it down. And I was very, very disappointed with this last guy. I had hopes that this guy was going to be something good, but he wasn't. So, yeah, he turns out to be probably, you know, another real awful, disappointing bot from, you know, Mini Force X. Again, bought it because I was making the combiner, and the combiner's nothing to write home about. I mean, I've got him on display in my room. I had to take these guys out to do this video, but yeah, so. It's not the last we've seen of uh, Mini Force X for me personally, because I've ordered another figure that's 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 come out, that came out you know, round about Christmas time, and it's going to be one of the probably one of the first KTRT bots I review this year. But uh, hopefully, things will improve, things will be better, because the, the next bot promises to be something a lot better but uh, unfortunately this guy again <coughs> absolute rubbish so that, that only left December and December um, yeah it's another month where it was it was sort of a a, a, a will they won't they it was sort of like a, a an even Stevens decision as to whether this guy was going to be the worst bot I got, uh, along with a, another guy who's on the honourable mentions. But uh, when I went to the NEC Toy Fair, and one of the last uh, purchases I made at the NEC Toy Fair was this uh, Transformers G1.5 Rapido. So, yeah, I got him uh, thanks to um, Sid Beckett, aka Cino Kibble of uh, uh, Comic Connections Banbury or you know, Spa Town Comic Collections. I was at the store where these were on the table, and he pointed them out and says, "Oh, you know those, um, these are the uh, the G1.5 accelerators. I, I bought them as a pack of four. They're in really, really excellent condition. Um, but out of the four, this guy is is just rubbish. I mean, that's the reason why. Look, look at this. He's got a marvelous head sculpt, and you flip his chest down, and he's barely looking over the top of it like this. Such a own home goal." in the design department on this particular toy. They should have done they should have done something better than that. I know flipping the the, the hood down to form the chest is, is a staple of the uh, the G1 Transformers because so many of them do it. But on this one, it, it, the, the chest is so thick and chunky, it's got a recessed section for the windscreen and you just can't see his head. And I was so disappointed by this guy and I, I just thought, you know what? Um, this is this is easily the worst thing I've picked up at uh, in December, and uh, I reckon with a few modifications you could really do something with this mold. In fact, I think looking at that head sculpt, it's 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 uh, kind of similar to um, Inferno from Beast Wars. I think he's got a head sculpt that's very similar to Inferno from Beast Wars, and I'm thinking with these red colours. And a few modifications, like to do away with this, this this hood chest. In fact, splitting it down the middle and gluing it onto his shoulders, and then doing a few paint apps to him. I reckon you could turn this into like a a, a G1 you no know, car rendition of um, uh, Inferno from Beast Wars, and I, I might buy another one. I wouldn't dare ruin this toy because it's in such good condition. I mean, it's it's got all its decals. It's it's got all its it's got its accessory. It's all nice and tight. It's it's in mint condition. And I wouldn't want to destroy it or damage it in order to make a, you know, a custom of this. But I'm thinking of buying another one of these and doing a custom on it and turning it into like like a little little, little G1 Inferno. 
Um, but uh, yeah, but so disappointed by that. That is just. There's no excuse for that. I'm sorry. Even though it's 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 an, a G1 bot, there's no excuse for that. So that was the last of the the bots that I bought this year that I did on my first and worst. But just to finish this video off, I decided to do some dishonourable mentions as I said at the beginning of the video. Basically, dishonourable mentions. These are a few figures that were also, again, pretty bad, or they had um, extraneous circumstances which made them go down in my expectations or my, my opinion because of something that happened to them, and then I, they, just, they just dropped off my radar. So the first honourable mention is um, this guy. Power of the Primes Voyager Class Grimlock. Uh, now, I got him back in uh, April, and yeah, <laughs> he's a, such a sore, sore, sore disappointment. But he wasn't the worst bot that I got back in April. That, that in my opinion, was uh, turning Metcard Phoenix, uh, Junior Phoenix. Um, yeah, so this guy, you know, I've noticed a few people have put this on their worst bots of the year list, and quite rightly so, because it, 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 it's awful. It's awful. I mean, there's no way the Dinobots should have been a combiner. And this guy has been heavily mauled by the Combiner Wars gimmick. In fact, you know, he's got Combiner ports here. He's got Combiner ports on the back of his arms. And to have that engineered in, it's, it's, just, it's just ruined the figure. Um, but to me, um, the reason he, he wasn't on my worst list officially, he's just an honourable mention, is because I don't think the robot mode is that bad. The robot mode is okay. The Combiner mode is sort of all right as well it's just the dinosaur mode the dinosaur mode is, is just look it's so ugly and so mis you know mis such, so, such so misproportioned thanks to the inclusion of the uh, combiner ports it's, it's just not funny it just looks awful in dinosaur mode it just doesn't work um the other two modes are all right that's why i've only got it down as an honorable mention but it's still i mean why what why make them a combiner there was no need for that. But because I suppose they was doing a bombinus, they had to have an Autobot combiner to go alongside it. And as they'd used all the other Autobot combiners up, there was only <laughs> only this option left. So I guess that's why they went for it. But uh, yeah, he not too good. So yeah, we'll, uh, he's, on, he's a dishonorable mention. Um, so then the next one is in May. And of course in May, it was at uh, Chosoko Henki Gyro Zeta no Mini Anubia. Now I said it was up against another bot. This. Uh, Wei Jiang um, M01B Black Commander uh, or the Black Apple uh, Commander. Um, I wanted to get a version of this mould. There were three different uh, paint styles that they did. They did the original one, they did the Battle Damage one, and then did this one. I was kind of hoping they would do uh, an, an Ultra Magnus version, or they would do the um, the Age of Extinction Rusty mode Optimus Prime with all the you know the the uh, the faded paint and all the rust apps all over it. But unfortunately, they didn't go down that route. So I had to go for this, and and I had a job finding one of these because this figure is all but sold out and. You just you just couldn't find it anywhere and when you did find it it was it was it was going for stupid money but then uh, i found some guy in china who was selling it for a halfway reasonable price so i went for it and it arrived uh back in may and when i first got it i was totally blown away by it because i mean just just look at this thing it's just awesome that the paint the design the detail it's just such a step up from the age of it Extinction uh, Voyager Evasion Mode Optimus Prime. They just oversized it and just put all these extra bells and whist whistles on it, extra ratchets, die cast galore, like lots of chrome pieces. It's amazing. However, I think I've got this uh, mistransformed. Yeah, there we go. However, I didn't transform it straight away after getting it out of the box and. It wasn't until the end of the month that I went to transform it. And uh, I started on this leg, transformed that, and then I went to go on this leg, and I, I, I turned it, and the foot snapped off. And when I looked at it, it was obvious that the peg 
that the foot rotates on had been broken previously and glued back on. Now, I don't know whether the, the guy I bought this off knew about the damage. Maybe he didn't have it, you know, he had it on display in robot mode and didn't, didn't try to transform it or whether he tried to transform it because the, the pegs were ridiculously stiff. They were stiff on, you know, so stiff that they could snap. Uh, especially this one. I mean, this one's still kind of stiff, but it, at least it moves. And then when I looked into the actual peg, um, the peg on the original um, Hasbro uh, version has a metal pin that goes all the way through. It's, it's like a hollow peg with a pin that goes all the way through. On this, it was a hollow peg that went all the way through, but the pin was very short. It only just pegged in at the far end. So effectively, the, the pin was unsupported in the middle. And because it was so stiff, somebody trying to move it to transform it, it just sheared it off. Now, I'm not blaming the seller I bought this from. I mean, when I got it, it apart from there was some shelfware on the packaging, it didn't look as though it had been opened. I think I'm pretty sure there were some tape seals on him, but it's quite easy to put tape seals back on figures, isn't it? It's quite easy to put tape seals back on. So it looked as though it was a mint in box, but you know, when I went to transform it, the foot broke off. I've since repaired it, sort of. It's, it's a bit loose, but it, it, it sh hopefully should hold up, should be strong enough to hold up. Um, so that ruined this figure for me. This would have probably been the best bot. This would have been the best bot I got in May, had it not been for that. So it went from the best bot to the worst bot, more or less. And uh, really, really disappointed. And it's a shame that uh, a toy of this caliber had to be had to go down in my estimation so much just because of a, a dodgy joint that snapped. But here we go. And uh, the next honorable mention, um, now, um, September. Power, well, it's actually uh, Prime Wars Deluxe Repugnus. Now, I don't dislike this figure. This is another one of those figures that something happened to it you know, and uh, because of that, because of what happened to it after I bought it, it, it sort of <laughs> went down in my estimations, and it was to do with the to to do with the price. Um, I mean, I paid, I pre-ordered this from a uh, I can't remember who I got it from. I think it was Mr. Anime Tropolis, and I paid like forty five quid for it. And then this was before I, I ordered it before TF Nation. Then at TF Nation, of course, Kapow had these on their stall for thirty quid. Which which hurt me, but uh, the worst heartache was to come because um, back in September this thing finally arrived and it got a customs hit, so it got an extra twenty odd quid or whatever slapped on the top, and I ended up paying a horrendous amount of money for it, so that pretty much ruined my opinion of this figure. I mean it's an okay figure. I mean I've got all three of the. Um, you know the monster bots, the Titans Return monster bots. I mean they're all reworks of the uh, the Twinferno mold. Um, this was the uh, the third and final one that we'd been waiting for. We got it as part of the you know these uh, Prime Wars trilogy figures, and he's he's an okay bot. Uh, he's got some you know sort of you know issues, and because of the way that they've uh, you know reused the mold, there's some bits on it that look a bit odd, but it's not too bad. I've also got the uh, Titan Master head on it, which looks so much better than the one that comes with the kit. And uh, yeah, but because I paid so much money for this and it, and it got a customs hit, it just it just really, really <clears throat> went down in my estimation. It, 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 it came very close to being the worst bot that I picked up that month because of that reason. But um, it was that, that month I got Titan Master uh, uh, Nightbeat. And I still kind of like this bot. It's still a, an okay transformer, so I don't totally hate it. I just hate what happened to it when it was being delivered. And uh, yeah, so that means it goes on to a dishonorable mention for my uh, my uh, worst bots of the year. And then finally, December. Um, <laughs> now, uh, yeah. Now this bot I'm going to show you, it's another one where I've had... Problems happen to it similar to the last two bots that you've shown. Right? So, and because of that, it, again, it went down in my estimation. Um, but then I got 
Rapido, and he just, yeah, he was he was so bad that I had to, you know, bring this guy up a little bit to an honourable mention. And it's this guy. This is a Transformers O Info Bar, and in Optimus Prime, aka Ultra Magnus. This is that uh, that mobile phone former, officially licensed mobile phone former from that uh, company Info Bar from Japan. Now, because this is an exclusive repaint of this mold, it goes for a bit of a premium price. I mean, I've seen these things going on eBay for about eighty-five to a hundred plus quid, with or without postage. So. And this thing is so small, I mean, you know, it's, it's not much bigger than a deluxe. It's very, very small and spindly, and uh, yeah, so I wasn't prepared to pay that amount of money. Then in November, one came up on eBay with a, you know, on a buy it now for a, 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 like half that price, and I was interested in it, and um, it said in the description that, well, in the description it said, used package damaged was it on the official condition description i'll put i did this in my um end of month bot haul i went into details about it anyway when it arrived it got a customs hit so i paid like 55 quid for it you know with the uh with the uh the, the buy it now price and the postage then it got a customs hit which put it up to nearly 80 quid which is about the price they go for normally uh, and then when I went to transform it, one of the feet broke off. So it's like broken foot syndrome again. So it's got the broken foot syndrome of this guy and the customs hit that this guy got. So it, it, it's both those things combined on this figure. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, because of those reasons, it went down in my estimation. Um the reason I bought this is because I, I, I like these novelty transformers. They, they they do work for me, you know, that transforms into unusual items. In this case, you know, it's like a device labels type thing. It's, it transforms into a mobile phone. I quite like that. It's got some interesting engineering to make the transformation work. Um, and I wanted one. I saw the Optimus Prime version on the stall at TF Nation for 45 quid, and I could have bought one there, but I wanted to get one of the other versions. I mean, really, I wanted the Megatron version of this, but he only comes in a triple pack with an Optimus, a Bumblebee, and a Megatron version, and they go for, like, nearly 200 quid. So I just can't warrant spending that amount of money to get one figure that I want out of a triple pack and then try to sell the others to make up the money, and it's, like, <laughs> got no chance doing that. So, yeah, I went for this guy, and, like I said, broken foot and customs hit. Yeah, so... <laughs> It went, bleh, it went right down in my est estimation because of that. But it wasn't, in my opinion, the worst thing that I got in December. No, that was Rapido. So this guy got a, a sort of a stay of execution somewhat. And uh, he only became a dishonourable mention. So that then is my worst bots of 2018. And, you know, if you've been watching my end of month bot hauls, you, you've just seen the majority of these anyway. And, yeah. So hopefully you found this interesting. Um, you know, they can't all be winners. <laughs> There's got to be some stinkers. Um, so yeah, you know, we always buy things and then we get them. We have buyer's regret or, you know, it gets a customs hit or something breaks on it. You know, it's it, it's it's all that stuff. So that then is uh, my worst of 2018. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've been TFR Wilderness and I'll catch you all next time. Ta-da.